Particle cannon activated.
Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero. Welcome back to a, another live stream. Got a different uh, kind of format for you here today. We've got Size against Fargo, which is an old school Nemesis matchup. But um, thanks to our sponsor, Yan, we have a slightly new format. It's going to be best of 13, but players are going to increase the amount of uh, money they're going to be able to win tonight uh, by playing with weaker armies. So if you play with air, for example, there's no bonus. Whereas if you win a game with China, for example, you may win um, more. Right, so we're waiting for players to join. Welcome everyone in the chat. We might have a few minutes until uh, until the players join. It's going to be more, more one of the more complex rule sets you've seen before. But you let me know what you think on the uh, format. The uh, kind sponsor, Jan Anderson, is in the chat. So if you want to chat with him, ask him about the rules. You are more than welcome to. I'm going to actually paste the rules. I'm going to play, paste the rules. In the description of this stream, so you should be able to refresh now and see the rules. And I've also pasted it in the chat. Right, Fargo said on the other screen that he can't see my room. Let me uh, send us kisses and hugs. Fargo doesn't have these new maps, so he probably doesn't want to pay, uh, play them. Um, so I'm going to choose all the maps tonight. That's the benefit of being the streamer under this rule set. So, um... That's one cool thing. Um, Fargo doesn't seem to have any map, though, <laughs> which is a slight, slight issue. Uh, so tonight's rules it's the best of 13 but if you if you get a win on a 2v2 map of which there's going to be three maps that are 2v2 maps if you get a win on one of those you are going to gain two points <clears throat> so yeah size needs two minutes he's been on the phone for like what seems to be like half an hour And he's asking for two minutes more. See, so, yeah, I'm trying to think uh, what two v two maps are we going to put them on? It's going to be uh, it's going to be three armies. Thinking about this battle tracks. Just want to test if this is any good. Can't remember who made this. Don't know if it's necessarily that good. You've got all these crates in the middle.
Don't know if that's necessarily that good of a map. He says simple. It's actually a four-player free-for-all. Fargo likes simple. I mean, it could go pretty quick, that, couldn't it? Because you basically got one supply. That one's quite far back. Depends on the matchup, though, I suppose. I mean, maybe we'll just try that. I mean, Yan wants to see something. Uh, he wants to see new stuff. He doesn't want to see the same old stuff played over and over. So uh, this would definitely be in that category. Maybe we just try it and see how it goes. And if you won this, you would start with two points. I might just test a few other maps. Not that keen on that one. We do have this Aztec Empire. Um, animals of Generals is by Timber Owl. Let's just quickly check this. I mean, that could go very, very long, couldn't it? That's a 2v2 map. That could go insanely long. Animals of Generals has got animals all over the map. There's a T-Rex, there's a fish. There's some owl, some dog, whatever that is. <laughs> some dolphin. Uh, tend to think that one would go quite quick. I think we need a bit more of a fast and ferocious. Um. Let's try combat encounter. Yeah, we're basically just testing maps. Waiting for size to still join. I mean, we've se we have seen this, I think, actually. Yeah, I've actually played this in a tournament before, a 2v2 map. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. We've got that new one called Spider something. Shuriken, that could be... ...interesting. Yeah, the format tonight, you're gonna have to uh, read it in the description. Could do that. But, I mean, if you get... No, if you get USA versus Tank, actually, collecting from there would be kind of hard. I actually think we do that. We do Shuriken. <laughs> hmm. Size is here now. Do we go with something like that? Might be a bit bad, actually. Maybe we just go without Battle Tracks. Snow money, snow prosperity. Tournament D, tournament spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> tournament A. <laughs> Waterfalls. All right, let's go with battle tracks. Uh, 
We actually could do oil uh, oil carnage. <laughs> oil king. Oil carnage. All right, we'll do oil carnage later. We'll start with something more normal, which is this battle tracks. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, historically, we stick to rule sets that's like best of 13, random reverse or Actually, I like to choose matchups and specific maps. And we've introduced like damn maps, battleship maps over the time. But Jan really wants to mix it up, uh, not by creating new maps, but he wants to make uh, weird and wonderful formats. So, for example, if you win on a 2v2 map, you'll get two points. This is just a quick test of this map. I don't know how it's necessarily going to work out. You have been defeated. Firearm in the chat says... If you have a map called Easy Nickname, please do that map. Oh, I actually do. But it's just uh, Coastline Walled. Yeah, Oil Carnage must have like 27 oils on it, I think. Right, players are going to choose their armies. Yo, Retro Sober, welcome. Yeah, there's going to be no rules in the game tonight, so... If players want to take over the whole map or make Alpha Auroras, you can do it. Mohammed Yassim says, who's my apprentice in the um, Master and Apprentice tournament? I'm not in that. I don't really like to join anything with uh, Moon Knight as the host, to be honest. I think he's unprofessional, <laughs> to say the least. 
But yeah, I'm not in many or any tournaments at the minute, apart from um, the 2v2 20k tournament. I'm in that with Marika. <clears throat> right, so the players are, are choosing their army. Um, but let me show you this rule set. <laughs> Generally, I, I'm not a fan of complex rules, but you might like this. You tell me what you think in the chat. So basically, you can choose your army. You got to tell me privately, and then you got to select it. If you go air, stealth, GLA, demo, or tox, you won't get any bonus. But if you take infantry, laser, or USA, you'll get a five dollar bonus just for taking taking the army. Do you have to win with it as well? I don't know if you have to win with it as well. Oh yeah, you have to win with it as well. And if you win with China nuke tank or super weapon, you get a ten dollar bonus. Uh, so yeah, it might be a good idea there to choose infantry because infantry is quite strong. I actually think demo and inf should probably be swapped around. Ah, uh, I don't know. But yeah, there, there's more rules there. Uh, win any match with 20k starting cash. I mean, for me, this is all just way too complex. But you can, you can read all of this if you want. Oh my god, what's this? Each player has two AI hard army on a 4v4 map. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's up to Jan. Jan is the Jan is the sponsor of this, and that's what he wishes for. And if the players are happy for it, then... Uh, but yeah, I mean, when the rules get this complex and long, I, like, I lose track like halfway through. And Big Size only likes rules that's like two sentences long. If it's anything longer than that, he gets confused. So, But we're currently waiting for Fargo. Yeah, the, all those rules are in the... Um, Okay, size is infantry and Fargo is air. It's on this map, Battle Tracks V2. And I actually. Yeah, size, if he wins this, is going to get a $5 bonus. And if Fargo wins this. He's uh, not going to get any bonus because he's picked one of the strongest armies, so. But yeah, my feeling here, Fargo doesn't care about the extra $5 because $5 in the grand scheme of things is not actually that much. But if you win the whole set, I actually don't even know. I don't even know what's the prize for the whole set. It's quite important we know that. I literally don't even know what the prize is for the whole set. I need to uh, probably check that. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm scrolling through the rules. I can't see. <laughs> I don't even know how much a player gets if they just win. All right, kicking off for the first game. This will be worth two points. Fargo with the Air Force on Battle Tracks. This is by Epic Man 2099 Down at the bottom right, the blue USA Air Force. But a man they call Fargo. Up at the top left, we have the China Infantry with the orange. This is big size. So I actually don't think infantry is so bad here because the Air Force is going to have trouble collecting here from the middle. The uh, infantry could easily harass it just by putting a minigunner or building a Gatling cannon there. Yeah, this is a 2v2 map. This is a sponsor's wish. Size so keeping CC. He's got two supplies so far. Building the barracks here at the front. Missile defender here for Fargo. Pressing forward into a war factory. Fargo sending various rangers around probably to capture some stuff. Fargo trying to get the crush here on the tank into, but... Looks like that might not happen yet. These two have been playing all day, by the way. 
<laughs> or at least a big chunk of today. So I think they're fully warmed up and very familiar with each other. Yeah, Fargo's shutting down the front there pretty well. Size is on three supplies, but is getting harassed here at the front. And now V's going to get killed. Fargo behind this does not have his oil jet. We've got some funky sound going on in the corner. And over there as well. <laughs> Fargo going around the back. With this V to harass. No mines there from size. If he did mines there, it might mess up the collection. I don't really like the placement of that um, supply dock on this map. Whoa, mine spawn just in time. Fargo's about to get probably three oils, though. No, not, not all of the maps today will be four players. Only... Only some of them. Size expanding down to the bottom left. Still collecting on the middle. He's bringing a dozer to the middle. I think looking more beneficial for size. Even though Fargo's just got himself three oils. I think this big man blob here could, could cause some damage. There's no uh, flashbangs out just yet. Okay, so it's $5 per win, basically. So if you win the whole set, there's... You've won seven, so it's $35 if you've just picked the strongest armies and won the set, basically. Is that right? Yeah, seven times five, $35. Size is tanking, is getting chased away there. Size coming round the back with an aggressive uh, proxy dozer. Fargo now looking to put pressure on the front. I think if size gets mix, he's in a good position. Oh, he's expanded there too. Fargo wants to capture his supply. I wonder if uh, size makes mines there now. Will it kill that ranger? Sometimes it could bug out. Those trucks at the back there have been killed. Size has expanded to another one, and he's also built a uh, barracks down in the bottom right of Fargo's base. If he gets a bunker there now, that is legendary there from Size. Size is losing the middle. But this is good from Size. This is really good, but there's a missile defender there. Size took too long. If he'd have built the bunker straight away, that would have been great. But Size just lost 1,700 there, and this is not going to get up. It's a little bit too slow there from Big Size. Size of CC now being captured. I think uh, Size might be dead here. Because in the last few moments, nothing is really going Size's way. Size are maybe a bit too chilled out of a strat, keeping CC, making radar on your CC. Just spamming a load of supplies and barracks. Is Size going to be able to hold that? Maybe. The ambulance is getting picked off. There is an outpost out now. Okay, he's going to hold, but the next two Vs are on the way. Strap being built. Size of supplies getting captured. Yeah, this map's called Battle Tracks. I had it for a while, actually, but it's just never been played. I think it's meant for a, 
a four-player free-for-all map. Search and destroy deployed. Supply gets sold. Yeah, I just don't know both sides of strategy. I do think he'd be in a really good position, though, if that bunker had got up. I think he was just way too slow with it. Carpet bomb comes through, kills the supply, kills it completely as well. I thought sometimes might be able to survive, but nope. This oil's placed wonky as well by the map maker in this map. Oh, you're going to step on some mines. Does survive so far, though. Fargo's level three. Yeah, I think size needed to get to mines. Maybe place some bunkers down. Maybe did need to sell his CC. Or maybe just not be so, like, just expanding with dozers and supplies everywhere. I don't know. He, ha he has got the weaker army, and I suppose there is a bit of a choke point if there's a fire base place down there. Hard to push into regardless. But I think the middle favoured him. So I still in this. Margo looking to get another oil. Just the truck chilling here. So yeah, if, if Fargo wins this, he's going to go 2-0 up. Because this map is a 2v2 map. It's uh, worth two points. Yeah, size is basically getting wrecked now. So even Colonel Burton inside one of them V Spectre on this. Yeah, size is just getting ripped apart. I don't really know what size's strategy was here. Well, I do know what it was. It was 52 supplies and 50, 52 infantry from the barracks. But yeah, it didn't work. I think size knows this is GG. This is the first... Oh, actually got a flamer inside of the base from this way. Doesn't even kill the wolf actually though. It's the first real bit of aggression we've seen from size. It would have changed a lot though if that bunker would have got up earlier. Nice micro from Fargo pulling it back. GG from size. And Fargo will go 2-0 up. You it's a point system because that's a, a four player map. He will get two points. Okay. Right, we have this other map called Tiny Tactics. Um, and we've got this other one called Blue Hole. I kind of do want to see. Size is asking in the chat, do I get a bonus for floating? Ah, Fargo said he's noticing the rules. If you float 20k, you get $20. <laughs> you get a bonus for floating. But this is Blue Hole. Dark Nine said that Battle Tracks is a very old version. Dark Nine helped fix a lot of the issues. Ah, okay. Okay, Blue Hole. Another uh, new map. This one's by No Mercy. You've got two full uh, docks. Well, actually, that's not full, is it? 20k. 
20k, 30k, you've got oil here, you've got half dead bunkers here. So if a GLA gets RPGs inside of there, starts repairing it or builds a tunnel, could be kind of bad. Size so will just be checking out the map. We've got some crates here, crates in the middle. Got an expansion over there. There's a lot of oils on this map. This is where the legendary Fargo drop was born. It was actually on that bunker. Just posted that video recently if you have not seen it before. You have been defeated. Okay, Sai says he was born ready. It's best of 13 points, not best of 13 games tonight. Okay, we've got Fargo's army. We're waiting for size to PM me his army. Taking a little while. Still waiting for Sizer's army. I think he's thinking about it. It's going to be air versus tank. Sizer's chosen tank for maximum bonus. <laughs> Uh, and Fargo has chosen air. Is he going to know Eco the big size here? Probably. <laughs> Why don't I make maps with trains? We do have a map with a train, but people didn't like it, so we got rid of the train. I don't, um, I don't make these competitive 1v1 maps anyway, so you better ask map makers. But generally... I think people don't like the train because it just wrecks everything. It even kills. Does it even kill a CC? I think it does. Uh, down in the south position with the blue USA Air Force choosing the second uh, time. The strongest army in the game. This is Fargo. All the way in the top right with the orange China tank choosing one of the weaker armies um, out of the list that Yan made for maximum 
bonus. I think he gets $10 bonus, which doesn't seem that much considering how hard this might be, especially if Fargo's going to know Eco, which it looks like he is. Then, um, yeah, Danish Viking, orange player, trying to tank. This is big size. Yeah, I think maybe the bonuses for winning with the weaker armies maybe need uh, beefing up. I don't know. I mean, we're still getting something. A stronger army versus a weaker one here, but Fargo's known to just do no eco, which is two full Vs and an ambulance straight across the map. Oh, Mark Smith says the first three games have to be on 2v2 maps. Uh, okay, yeah, I deliberately chose a 1v1 map here because if we do three 2v2 maps to start off with, someone could be on six points half an hour into the stream. And then it could be over after one more game. So I've tried to mix it up. Yeah, do you really want it to be over after... Uh, like, almost over after three maps? Okay, Fargo's here with the no eco. Size is spreading out across the map. Don't think he expected this no eco. The power is going to be hit. That V's weak, though. Fargo's messed up his no eco's. Self-proclaimed best no eco in the game. And already he's lost 1v and most of the missile defenders. He needs to start rebuilding that power ASAP. That's a mistake there from size, but I suppose he doesn't have the cash. He's kept his CC against the no eco from, uh, from Fargo. It's kind of strange stuff. Yeah, I do kind of like this map, you know. I think he's got some potential to become really good, really popular in the future. But I think size is just dead to a no eco here. His power rebuild is too slow. Keeping the CC going for oils, one war factory. Not really sure there from size, but the mines does catch one of the Vs. Fargo behind this is just making more and more Vs. Size capturing more and more oils. Instant laser lock there from Fargo. Shreds the gat. It's the only war factory of size is going to get picked off. But this one here is being built. Size getting more and more oils. Does have a power. Does have this barracks. But the thing is, that blob of an army of Fargo is just going to be getting more and more XP. And he's actually going to move out and camp that war factory before it even produces any gats. Size could make a dozer from here now and try to do something. It's making a new war factory down in the bottom right. Yeah, it feels like a bit of an experimental matchup today because uh, pretty much playing new maps and this new format. Size of CC gets picked off. Fargo is nearly level 3. And lost very little. Size only on 251 XP. Size so building up a few gats here. He does have a decent amount of cash. He's got 7.2k. So has Size managed to outspam the no eco here of Fargo? Fargo's building a CC. He's coming in with gats. He's picked off a V or an ambulance there, whatever that was. I'm guessing it was a V. 
Size is having some success here. He's got a bunch of tank enters. Second war factory going up for size up in the top left position. He's still collecting here and has these two oils. So has size done enough here? Because this Noiko wrecking another war factory. And yeah, that gas going to get in an awkward position. If size pulls this off, that is uh, impressive. Yeah, there's a huge load of tank enters coming in now. I don't think Fargo can stop that. So it is going to come down to a bit of a uh, base race, I think. I think size might have done it. He might have out macroed the no eco. Yeah, size is here. Oh, there is Pathfinders now. Pathfinders will eliminate all of them tank enters given enough time. Uh, there's no search and destroy over Fargo, so he's got to kind of fight these in close range, these gats. But yeah, the Pathfinders are wrecking that. So Fargo going to still be in the game, but only got one Chinook. He needs to make a second. He has the cash for it. Size floating 7.2k. Yeah, $20 bonus if you float 20k, so size could maybe get to 20k here. He's over 10k now. Twelve point five K, twelve point eight K. Against Fargo's no eco, kind of impressive. But he still wants to win the game though. If he floats 20k and loses, I don't know if he gets the bonus. <laughs> yeah, both players still in this. Um, but Fargo's strategy of going no eco means he's really low economy, whereas size is nearly on 20k. I think he is going for that 20k. Size could do with getting MIGs, actually. He had MIGs. And he's just he's just automatically won. Did Size just... What happened there? Did Size just go to put a... Uh, CC in Fargo's base? Those Vs are going to be hard to kill because they're going to self-heal. Yo, Spalding, welcome to you. Oh, Size going over 20k. Wasn't watching for a second, but he's about to go over 20k. Yeah, he's over 20k. He's floated 20k. So now he gets a $20 bonus for floating 20k against Fargo. Which is kind of funny. That gas going to get in an awkward position. Size floating 23k now. Power. Is that going to get saved? Oh, it's close. No, it doesn't get saved. Fargo needs every bit of cash, to be honest. I don't know what's the point in making these tank enters anymore because... Uh... Hang on a minute. Is, is size... Count? Is size... Um... Doze hunted? He is. I thought he still had a dozer up in the top left, but he doesn't. He's hunted. And now his war factory's been picked off and it's GG. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I could have swore there was a dozer left still up in the top left. But because his CC got killed and then Fargo hunted the dozers, the Spectre killed the War Factory. So even though size went over 20k, I don't think he gets the bonus for that. So Fargo goes ahead one more point. Because that was a 1v1 map, he gets one point. If he wins on a 2v2 map, then he gets uh, more points.
Okay, um, we'll do Black Hell actually. It's a decent map, this. Okay, C map. It's gonna be a 1v1 map this time. This one's sponsored by uh, Lucifer Rice. Uh, yeah, made by Tanso slash uh, Anthrax. Uh, called Black Hell. You've got an erupting volcano there in the middle. You've got crates in your base. Oil. Oil. ICBMs or half particles, whatever you want to call it. It says Lucifer and a rise on the map. Okay, it looks like we're ready to go. Players will have to choose their armies again. They'll have to PM me what army they're going to be. Remember, they get bonuses for picking... Uh, weaker ones. So size hasn't won any cash yet because he's lost all the matches. Alright, so Size is asking with the rules if you can go 50k starting cash. We <laughs> stealth versus China 50k. Oh, size. <laughs> size is big, China. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, Fargo saying it's his choice. Yeah, size chose China based on 50k.
This is why I don't like complex rules, man, because I literally don't know what's going on. I'm just not a fan of this stuff in general, but... Uh, let's wait until it gets sorted out. <laughs> Size chose China Vanilla based on uh, it being a 50k match. All right, it's Fargo's letting size pick his army again. Stealth mirror, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, man! I just wanna, I just wanna see, I just wanna see uh, a, a game. I don't wanna wait. We've already been waiting six minutes now. Okay, so we got F versus Stealth. Uh, match of on Black Hell is the new map. It's going to be a 10k match. So, yeah, down at the bottom left, we've got Gile Stealth for the blue player. This is Fargo. Up at the top right, we have the orange player, Danish Dynamite. This is the Air Force that is big size. So, this map is called Black Hell. It's uh, made by Tanso, as we said before. You've got two supplies plus oils out on the map to capture. Got a volcano in the middle. Um, it's got Lucifer and Arise, the words on it. That was a blocker by Zezon, by the way. Even though Lucifer Arise paid for this map to be created for all of us, uh, Zezon deemed that a blocker and wanted us to erase it. <laughs> uh, non cheers for the £10 donation, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Yeah, the thing about this volcano, you've got to be careful with air units. If you fly over there with a helix whilst the volcano does this explosion thing, uh, you can lose an air unit. So I wait for the day where Fargo goes helix from the beginning 
and it gets one shot by the volcano, that would be kind of funny. Technical gets shot by the King Raptor. Size has gone for double airfield. Is he going here for Comanches? Dozer gets picked off in the middle. We've got a ranger here going to stop probably that worker if Size sees it. It is Comanches from Big Size. He's chosen the stronger army here because he needs to get a win. Notice so far, Size has been choosing weaker armies to try and get a little bit more money, but he's lost every time. So the, the only players to win so far is with the stronger armies. So I think maybe the bonuses for the weaker armies maybe need to be bigger because... I think Fargo only cares here about winning. He doesn't care about an additional $5 to win with a weaker army, I think. Size has gone straight over this attacking army and is going to go and press into the base. Is he going to pick off that oil? There is still a tunnel there that Size hasn't found, but he might have an idea it's there because his Comanche's got revealed. Nice lace logs from size. There's a tunnel actually up. And are we going to see a bit of a Fargo pop here? Almost did, but then he went back inside. Three Comanches did fall, though. I think they're mainly due to the RPGs here. There's a lot of RPGs. King Raptor gets picked off by the quads. Fargo is on double arms dealer and oils three supplies. So actually, that's looking pretty good for Fargo, if you ask me. Yeah, sure, the laser logs can come in, but Fargo's going to be able to spam these quads all day long. It's going to be hard for Size to hold. He needs a fire base there at the front, I think. And I think this uh, terrain here is stopping the laser logs from being effective. Yeah, if you, if you do a laser lock on a ramp like that, it's not even a map issue. It's just a zero hour issue. Comanche's there. Do stay alive, but they are losing HP. I think this map kind of does suit the stealth. Like expand into the corners and stuff. Yeah, let us know in the comments, do you prefer weird and wonderful formats like this where you get $10 to win in with a weaker army, where you have to PM me your army, where you can choose 10k, 20k, 50k, and, uh, or do you prefer just to see set matchups on, on, uh, new maps or random reverse or mirrors? Let us know in the comments. I think it's always good to keep things fresh, actually. I just think there's a line when things become too complex. Maybe today is not. Maybe today is not too complex, but. Yeah, you've got lava um, around the map in different places. It's sometimes annoying to play on this map, like uh, with the, the narrow choke points and all the different valleys and stuff. It depends on the matchup. Like if you like tank against a GLA, for example, the GLA can just like pre-fire with scud launches and stuff. Could cause some problems. It's 3-0 to Fargo, but do remember that that's not three games. It's three points, because he won on a 2v2 map, he won two points, which we'll do a 2v2 map next, by the way.
Yeah, I think Fargo's in a really good position. The size's base just might literally be dead now. Because there's so many quads here. So I'm still making command cheese, but yeah. Fargo's on, on fire. And size playing maybe maybe below his uh, usual standard. Comanche's a little bit sloppy there, getting picked off. More and more quads coming for Fargo. Is size going to be able to hold that? Yo, Phil, thank you for the £10 donation. Appreciate that. Well, size is actually holding and getting these Comanche numbers up, but he is losing Comanches to the Stingers, and because the uh, the money situation favors Fargo, so I, I think Fargo can afford trade-offs like that, whereas I'm not totally convinced that size can, because even like that oil there has been captured by Fargo. That was killed mega early. Size is holding. I'm actually surprised about that. But size is going to need to expand and get some more cash. I don't know about that because the sting is all over the place and size just literally flying ever over everything. A little bit sloppy sometimes from size today. Size is clearing out the bottom right, but is he gonna lose his Thank base? Thank you, Dom, me and everyone for trying some new formats. I will hold a poll after each one to see what people like, and plenty more to come. Yo, yeah, thank you uh, for the five-pound donation. It seems a mixed bag uh, in the chat. I think more people are saying they like experiments and new formats and trying something different. We do do the same thing a lot. I've been trying to vary zero hour as much as possible over the last. Few, uh, six months or maybe 12 months by introducing like new maps like this one for example was based on my uh, an idea I had um, Battleship Bay dam maps all that kind of stuff so I do agree we need to mix things up and make things um, funky no harm in trying new stuff I suppose but I think there's, there's certain players in Zero that don't like to read mammoth pages of rules when they're playing a tournament if you have to read the instructions and read three pages of rules, then uh, I think generally there's something wrong. Which there have, there have been tournaments like that in the past. When Wraithful Nickname makes a uh, tournament. And you have to read through seven pages to figure out what's going on. <laughs> I immediately lose interest. But I, th I think Size here didn't fully read the rules. He didn't understand who could choose 50k, who could choose 10k. Like, Fargo chose 10k here when Size actually wanted to choose 50k, and he chose China Vanilla based on it being 50k. Yeah, I think Size is one of them. He just prefers simple rules. If it's more than two sen sentences, he doesn't... <laughs> well, he, he might like it. I don't know, but he's not necessarily going to understand it or remember it. But yeah, Size uh, has expanded over here. He's building a CC. He's actually holding his base. Dare I say it. Those Comanches get highly vetted, which they are doing. They can just become an ultimate death blob and just fly around just killing everything. And Fargo is mine now on his main base, so I think size might be doing enough here. You should play Rise of the Reds. Alistair, yeah, thank you very much for the donation. I uh, do plan on at some point playing a little bit of Rise of the Reds. I did promise myself I was going to try a bunch of uh, zero hour mods. Giant robot mod, for example, is really, really epic. <laughs> What's that one where you can make like that anime character and he or she just flies all over the map, just destroying everything, and she's like this tiny flying unit? I can't remember. Was that? I can't remember if that was the giant robot mod or not. <laughs> 
But yeah, Rise of the Reds, I do, I do plan on trying it. I'm not a fan of Contra. I've played that. Yeah, both players are kind of running out of cash here. I, I like the uh, Stingers. By the way, I do like that. Sizes Comanches are auto healing. There's a Vet 3. A tank comes in, weakens the Stinger. I think Size might be able to do it, you know. Because Fargo's mined out on his main now, and uh, all the cash on the map is drying up. I suppose Fargo could have had that since the very beginning. But yeah, Size has managed to hold with the Comanches. It's quite uh, legendary, actually. <clears throat> Lift Truck says Size spanked Fargo before this set, and Fargo deleted the stream. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, the same happened to Size, and Size deleted his stream the other day as well. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't watching who was winning or whatever. <laughs> but I did see they were playing. Okay. Vargo moving out now with an insane amount of quads down in the bottom right position. I wonder what support powers are ready for that. Has he got a leaflet ready, fuel air bomb, that kind of stuff? Because if he does, he could like half that army and then come in and clear it up with the Comanches. Comanches currently clearing the top left though. Those Comanches are a little bit stacked on top of each other. You've got to be careful of the splash damage from the Stingers. There's the leaflet. There's the fuel air bomb. How many quads is that going to get, though? Only kills one, but it did push these back, which then allows room for the Comanches to wreck things. Yeah, I think Size has done it, you know. Even though his cash isn't that great at the minute. I suppose he's got 4.6k. 2.8 now. But yeah, he is building that, I suppose. But I think um, Fargo's more broke. I think the Comanches have done it. Sai's so going to get himself on the scoreboard. Hmm, Fargo coming in with a big army of quads again. But I think his best chance, generally in like GLA against the air maps, uh, matchups, the best chance is early on when the, the Comanches don't have the veteran C, the support powers are lacking, and you can creep forward with the cash advantage building the Stingers. That's when his best chances were, I think. GG from Fargo. Any GG from Size, he just says easy. <laughs> you have been defeated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was there's different bonuses in this rule set. You can read the link in the description. Like if you build no air units, there's a bonus. If you float 20k, there's a bonus. But if you see there, it was so fiercely fought. I don't think the players are thinking about any bonuses at any point. They just cared about uh winning. Right, we could do oil carnage. Um, or do I put something crazy like Oil Rush? Let me just quickly check that myself. Oil Rush BV2. I think it has no cash on it, so probably Yan might like this, actually. <laughs> do I dare put them the on that? Of the red side build loads of hopper tanks. Alistair says he builds loads of hopper tanks. Okay, interesting. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate that. Hmm. Don't know about that. Oil 
Oil King, Oil Carnage, Nuclear Winter, Oil Carnage. Come on, Viking Warrior. Yo, Thomas, with the uh, massive £25 donation. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Donations are coming free today, aren't they? Thank you very much, Mr. Thomas. Okay, we're going to do Oil Carnage. I think uh, both of the players have this map. All right, this map has got a lot of oils. Size <laughs> wants fifty k. <laughs> so it's going to be fifty k, twenty seven oils each. And yeah, size is PM me what army he's gonna pick. And waiting for Fargo. Yeah, size has been more adventurous with the army so far throughout this set. Like picked tank, picked China Vanilla once when he tried to. And I know he picked air then in the end. Uh, he picked in from the start. Whereas Fargo's played it more safe, picking the stronger armies. There's a bonus in the rules for no Vs. All right, let's see. Super weapon against USA on this map. This is the 2v2 edition of Oil Rampage. Up in the top middle, we have the blue player, the super weapon. This is Fargo. Down in the south spot, USA. And the orange Danish dynamite for big size. And it's 50k. So I think that actually favors the super weapon. And yes, it's oil rampage doubled. <laughs> it's the 2v2 version. <laughs> it's the 2v2 version of Oil Rampage. It's called Oil Carnage. Size making one, two, three, four war factories so far. Fargo building some EMPs. Um, Let me count how many oils. So you've got one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. So each player should have 14 because it should be doubled. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So each player's got 14 oils. So that's 28 oils in total plus the refinery. Yeah, Timber Owl made this uh, edit. I think these areas in the corners could be a little bit more tidy. Like that was the original corner, I think. <laughs> Legendary comment in the chat. Maverick says this map is already looking like a mismatch. <laughs> well, I do like these EMP placements from Fargo, but size has got in anyway with two Vs. But only two Vs. Someone in the chat says 
picking the weaker army makes no sense. Well, picking the weaker army wins you more money. If you win a match and you pick Air Force and the both players pick Air Force, the strongest army in the game, you, you'll win $5 if you win. But if you win with tank, you'll win like $10 or $15 for the win. You see? So you can triple, and it's per match as well. So if you win in $15, $20 per game, you can quickly earn a lot of money. I think in total, if you win everything, all, all the prize money here, Jan said there's something like $360 on the line to be won. So size is suicide in some Vs here in order to kill that airfield. But Fargo's now got more XP because uh, all them Vs got cleared. Yeah, more and more EMPs being deployed by Fargo. This is basically macro challenge 1000, isn't it? That's basically what it is. 50k and 14 oils and 6 supplies each, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Sai's continually being the aggressor and he's doing that on purpose. Because he doesn't want to be against Alphas. That uh, supply dock looks to be floating a little bit. That'll be a blocker. By Zazon. <laughs> Alistair, I have a feeling you might be right, actually, with how uh, incompetent uh, Joe Biden is. I think you might be right, actually, to be honest. Sai's trying to hit the uh, power there, but the uh, Aurora went down. And the power stayed up. Yeah, size is always harassing. Next wave of these coming across for him. Fargo's got bombardment set, and he's making sure he's up close and personal against those Vs, so his units are killing more of size's units, and he's had an XP still. But size has kind of broken through here. That supply is not able to be collected from. These oils have not been captured over here. Size looks like he's captured everything apart from that one oil. Oil. Oh, and these. He's not captured absolutely everything, but it is a massive macro challenge, this one. A10 coming through for size, and I think that's the strat gone. Yeah, it is. And I don't... Oh, no, there is an airfield, so he could have queued up a few alphas. If you win this one, you win two points for the set because it's a 2v2 map. So this is definitely an important one to win. Especially for size, this is a way to equalize the set because it's a point system tonight. Oh, the power's gone down. Is it worth it for the uh, losing the Aurora though? 2,000 for the Aurora. But if it gets you through and you cause more than 2k's worth of damage, then maybe it is. Size... Has not clicked on his remaining oils. This one's still to be captured. It is a massive macro challenge, isn't it? Yes, yeah, I's continually hitting the powers, actually. And it's proving to be pretty good. It's, it's like kind of watching the hard AI play. Hard AI focuses your dozers. Does it focus the power, though? I think it does focus the power, doesn't it? Yeah, AI is very good at just map hacking and killing your dozers. AI seems to be very good here at hitting the uh, powers. 
But Fargo has enough power to keep going and his continued size aggression here. His V's are very cheap, uh, coming in at $630. They're 700 to start with, plus a 10% from the uh, refinery. Size coming in with two waves. He's even got another wave ready to go. Yeah, very well played from size. Uh, Zezon is the maker of Gentle. Thomas asked in the chat who's Zenon. This Zezon is the maker of Gentle. So he was checking all of the, all of the new maps to uh, see if they could be ranked or not, which means you can play them on Revora and it'll count towards the ladder system. And he was finding faults, like he found like a thousand different faults or what he considered faults or blockers. Uh, and he he. he he wasted like eight months of everybody's time only to then say, oh, you know what? Actually, uh, I can't update Gentle anyway. None of them can become ranked, but didn't apologize <laughs> for wasted everybody's time. So he wasted everybody's time only to then not um, not be able to do anything anyway. It's, it's very, very strange, man. <laughs> so I said ADAD there. Attack, move, and build drones. But it's not entirely accurate because you have you to press have AD, AD, and cl uh, click. So it's not it's not entirely accurate. I, I don't really get that joke. <laughs> All right, size equalizes now. He goes from one to three there because he gains two points for winning on a 2v2 map. But yeah, it's Oil Rampage times two. TK Leo was the original author of Oil Rampage. And we offered him money to make Oil Rampage times two, which is would have been this one. And after another, another one or two months of time wasting, he eventually says he doesn't have time to make it. So Timber Owl actually made this one. And then TK Leo put in a complaint and then blocked me, actually. <laughs> uh, There's the stories and little bits of drama here and there. It's probably nothing compared to other games, but we do have a little bit of drama. Yeah, he, he wasn't happy <coughs> that somebody else doubled his map. All right, let's do another 2v2 map, I think. Um, you do like Fallen Empire times two, Tournament Desert times two. You know what? That map there is actually a map I made when I was 11 years old. <laughs> no, wait. How old was I? 13 years old. Actually, you know what? We might just play it. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? I actually made this map. Wait, I can tell you exactly when I made it. Because I have it I have it on my... Uh, I've been meaning to make a video about this. So I kept... I've always kept my hard drive with all my stuff on it. And I made this. Uh... Right, so I made this map. On the 12th of April, 2004. I'm going to let him play it first. So I made this map, yeah? On the... T the... The 12th of April, 2004. So the game had been out for like, what, six months? No, wait. Mm, maybe it was a year. That was my old gaming name. <laughs> I don't even know how I edited that. No way out V2. <laughs> oh, and me and my friend used to uh, get our computers next to each other and connect with it by, via LAN. And we'd build up our armies for 60 minutes. Then we'd do this massive battle here in the middle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I made this. I was 14. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Yeah, I was 14 years old. I made this map when I was 14 years old. <laughs> it's giant. <laughs> so there's a few funny things happening today. I don't think the players are going to be happy with the size of it because it is a 2v2 map. And I just went crazy with the amount of supplies. And look, you can even see, like, I put these uh, towers. But I 
swear to you, this is my map. That was my old gaming name. And I made this when I was 14 years old. 14 years and one month old I was. <clears throat> I do have another one as well. It's called Battle in the Middle. Do I, uh, let's see. Oh, Battle in the Middle. <laughs> Same format. <laughs> That's what I used to play. Baldin said, uh, where can I get Oil Rampage TV2 version? You have to go to dominator.com and select the premium package. It's just, it's totally free. It's just $99.99 .99 per month for the first 99 months and then $120 thereafter. <laughs> All right, 10K. All right. Okay, I've got sizes on me. Uh, why can't says on update gentle because he says gentle is hard coded to have just all of these maps here that you see ranked already he would have to basically recode the hold of gentle so he wasted 12 months of everyone's time checking all these stupid blockers on all of these maps that no one agreed with anyway we were but we were all changing them like a raisin lucifer arise from his own own map that he paid money for only for him to then tell us that he's not going to recode gentle anyway and then not apologize for it. Like if I'd have wasted twelve months of everyone's time, I would have to. I would have to apologize for it. My conscience would tell me. Um, my conscience would tell me so. <laughs> but Zezon, no. Yeah, he doesn't care. Did I say two thousand fourteen? I meant two thousand and four. I made this map when I was fourteen years old in two thousand and four, April the twelfth, two thousand and four. I used to play against my mate. I used to go in my garage. Connect our computers together with a LAN cable. I don't know if we had a router or if it was just one cable. I don't know. It was like around the same time AD ADSL was coming out. Which was like the broadband. 512 kilobytes. Or maybe it was the half of that. I don't know. 56k modems. It was around that time. <laughs> So it's actually kind of funny now to uh, 20 years later to see two pros play on my map I made when I was 14 years old. <laughs> and it's worth two points this as well. Yeah, so my theory back then, when I was 14, was that you build up a massive army and then you have a massive engagement here in the middle. Hence all of the uh, scorch marks and stuff. Um, yeah, you were meant to build up a giant army and then attack move. Into each other. 
and just watch a ma massive battle ensue. I think you can capture this drop zone <laughs> here in the middle as well. Uh, but yeah, is size going to be able to win here with the infantry? There's a uh, artillery platforms to capture here that aren't even perfectly straight. So yeah, basically there's two oils there, two oils there, two oils there. So there's like four oils per side. It's meant to be a 2v2 map, actually. Yeah, Fargo being annoying with the occasional V. He's also captured one of these oils. Not captured his own oils there. Uh, Fargo. Okay, size of this sort of troop crawler. I think that range will get stopped. Going to be pretty close though. It does get stopped eventually. Fargo now spamming all the infantry to the middle. He's roaming around. Yeah, quite the macro challenges these uh, larger maps. Fargo coming in with these down at the bottom left. Size is there with uh, Mini Guinness. These kill the trucks. I think when Fargo gets Pathfinders, that's going to be a major game changer. Because all of these infantry will just be stopped. It's going to be then reliant on MIGs and then outposts of ECMs. I was 14 when I made this map. Someone asked in the chat again. Test by said, how old were you? I was 14 in 2004. Same age as Wraith. Now. <laughs> A.K.A. Moon Knight. Same age as Tumstep, actually. <laughs> yeah, Search and Destroy now deployed. Fargo getting a decent amount of cash. He's working his way towards level 3. I have to say this favors the air. Oh, that's quite fully loaded full of tank enters. Quite cute there from Big Size. Wow. That was one of the weirdest carpets we've seen, but it's because it flew over these mountains and then dropped all of its bombs on its way in the air. It's kind of a funny carpet. I think firearms that I placed a repair bay in the middle. Was it a repair pad? Uh, I can't even remember. I thought it was the drop zone, but yeah, man, you might be right. It might be a repair pad. It is confusing. Something that should be fixed in Z uh, Zezon's patch coming in 2035. Is that uh, repair pad? It should look different to a supply drop zone.
But yeah, repair pad. It's like a, having a free war factory repair. You just click on it and you get a repair if you uh, have captured it. Okay, Spectre now coming in. Size has pretty much taken over all of the supplies and oils on his side of the map. He's now coming in with minigunners inside of Fargo's base. There's nothing wrong with the uh, line of artillery platforms. <laughs> I, actually, I actually think it's uh, pretty cool and unique myself. Yeah, Size really needs to start attack moving through the middle now. Both players are floating 11 and 12k. If they both uh, get to 20k, which is possible, and if they win, they win an extra bit of cash. Helix actually emphasize. It's going to get stopped, but it did kill at least... Ooh, it's killed two buildings plus Chinooks. Nicely played there from size. I think if Fargo just gets one King Raptor in the air, though, any Helixes will get stopped. Look at the shadow. Whoa, if that dropped his bombs there, it would have been legendary. Probably would have won in the game then, actually. If it dropped his bombs there... I know it would have been a complete fluke, but might have been able to just win in the game there and then. Yeah, Pathfinders are now out, so this infantry is taking a little bit of a beat in. But size could get some bunkers here in the middle. Could uh, build up the MIGs a little bit more as well. But yeah, it is a true macro challenge. Size of the flame wall here takes out the artillery platform. Quite a few crates here. I don't even know if you can place the China supply up here. Fargo building up a massive army of Vs. Mixed in with some Avengers. Got one Avenger there. Oh, that looks like an indestructible building, actually. Oh, no, it is taking damage. It's just very, very, uh, very, very strong. Maybe the HP up to like 9 million or something. But yeah, Flame Wall would normally wreck things like that. Size so getting another artillery platform there in the middle. He's also got this building here, so he'll get three assault troop crawlers. Park cannon now in play for Fargo. Yeah, Size needs more MIGs, I think, to break through that. Nickname says this map should be ranked. I totally agree, you know. It should be in all 2v2 tournaments, all 1v1 tournaments. <laughs> I think that terrain is on the max height. Carpet gets an airfield. Size so over 20k now. Is he going to be able to win? Now he's floated over 20k, he will get the cash bonus, which is like 15, 20 dollars. Can't remember what it was. If, yeah, no, it's 20 dollars, isn't it? If you float over 20k, you get 20 dollars. <clears throat> wow, a lot of makes come in, but. Maybe the timing is a little bit off there for size. Because generally you want to fight them when your ground army is fighting. Size has got 33k. Hmm. Oh, he somehow got an assault troop crawler in. Don't really know how that's just walked in. Somewhere from over here. Literally just gone in and now capturing all the buildings there of Fargo. Carpet from size there as well. Tries to take out that supply, but fails. K 
Considering the design of the map is meant to be a choke point in the middle, it's actually... It's open enough that it's actually allowed the players to get in and actually cause some damage. And it might get a bit more campy now, but size is still managing to find ways in. Especially with the mini gonna drop, and especially without assault troop brought up, but Helix worked before as well. Nice shot there from Fargo. Size still floating 30k. Thinks a size does need to up his macro a bit. I think he needs more mix. Maybe more war factories. I don't know. More tank hunters skewed it to the middle. So he's fully loading these. Uh... <laughs> Helix is on patrol. Jan in the chat says, I wonder if we're going to see the USA take the no V challenge. If you if you go USA and you take you make no Vs, you get an additional price for that. But I think it's quite hard because USA and Vs is like the most common unit. You pretty much see it every game. In USA mirrors. <clears throat> in uh, USA against anything, you're going to see Vs. So I think that's kind of hard. And I think that the players are too evenly matched. Like If you had one strong player and one weak player, you could probably get away with going no Vs or like only two dozers or one dozer or weird stuff like that. But I think when the players are quite evenly matched, I think having no Vs, quite a tough ask. Wow, there's a lot of mix coming in now for size. Did kill a lot of Vs. I think they could have been a bit more efficient, but still. It's killed a lot. And it is a massive firestorm. Even picks off another one. There's another Helix here for size. Fargo seems ready for it there. Fargo even trying to collect from the middle despite having that one. Size with a probable EMP. That's going to be a legendary EMP. Wow, that is really legendary. He's disabled a ton of stuff and I don't even know how that Chinook survived. But the particle cannon is ready. Chinook gets picked off, but it doesn't make too much of a difference when both players have got like 30k. A lot of these units are dead. Size making hackers. <laughs> Not quite sure if that's the best way to be spending your cash. Oh, size is actually inside of that bunker and because it's pretty much <laughs> indestructible. <laughs> and it doesn't even reveal that size is inside of it. Fargo might be caught a little bit off guard there. Size around the back with the assault troop brought her. These artillery platforms are just wrecking things. The assault troop brawler is going to land. There is a bug in the game actually. If you kill... If you kill the reinforcement pad before the assault troop brawler gets dropped off, it can, it can glitch out and it can remain in the sky invisible. Yeah, Fargo's got 37k. Size has got 25k. This is a quite a cool building. And I think Size is still in it. Yeah, Size is still in it. And it looks like it's indestructible on 90% health. Size doing very well here with the not quite sure what's going on with that Lix. <clears throat> it's a bunker Lix with nothing inside of it. It did have an A-farm. Maybe it's just a distraction for Size to come in with there with the mix because he did get a decent hit. Size spending a ton of cash now. He's making hackers all over the place. He's got a nuke. Hmm. Uh, uh, may maybe an internet center full of hackers. But I don't know about 9 million hackers.
Oh, yeah, size should have got the no V bonus, actually. Yeah, when he was Air Force, you might be right there, actually. Yeah, because he won with Comanches only and didn't make a single V, I think. He only made Comanches, fire bases, and missile defenders, so I think you are right. So, yeah, we'll leave the sponsor, Yan, to <laughs> figure out who is owed what at the end. Carpet is probably going to kill the strap. Yep. Fargo taking quite a lot of damage, actually, considering he's got the far stronger army. Size with another epic MIG hit. There's still plenty of these for Fargo, though, and he's still got 30k in the bank. More and more particles, more and more nukes being built. Basie in the chat says, I'm looking forward to the last match of 4v4 with each player having two hard armies. Well, I thought that was stripped from the rules, actually, but you know what? The craziness seems to actually not be going uh, that bad, and people tend to like it, so uh, maybe we just stick that in the end. We have to choose a map that is not going to lag, though, and we have to choose a map that is scripted for the AI. I think we put them on the Super AI map, you know? <laughs> I don't know if you've been watching all of my videos. The Super AI is really Super AI. The players will barely make an impact on that map compared to what the AI is capable of. <laughs> it might just end up AI versus AI. Yeah, Fargo's back on power now. He was low power before. Four nukes versus four particles. There's obviously the most important target for the particles. Kidding. <laughs> I actually think it's quite I iconic. The four... <laughs> Artillery platforms. <laughs> I actually think it's quite iconic. Sai's so spending a lot more of his cash now. Now he's got 5k. It's either all or nothing with size, isn't it? He's either got no cash or he's got 37k. Okay, strategy center being rebuilt by Fargo. Fargo still hasn't collected this supply the whole game. Size long distance collecting from that one. Yeah, these minigunner drops are one of the things that keeps getting size in. Size is still inside of that building. I oh, know he's not actually. He's not inside of it anymore. Yeah, Tempstep wouldn't need a scan. He'd just find those hackers. With the particle, you're right, actually, Lift Truck. Okay. Power in the drop zone gets hit by the artillery of size. Yeah, Tempstep's got the latest headset. It's a gaming headset. <laughs> He's got a gaming headset and a gaming chair. Helps him know where the hackers are. So, like, those would be located, triangulated easily with this new gaming chair and headset. All right, particle ready. Have we even seen one particle yet? This game continues. It's actually been pretty exciting so far on a map I made when I was 14 years old. Size needs to repair that. That's really bad by size. The dozer was walking right by. Why did you not repair it? Because that's just going to die now. Hmm, okay, but you could have saved it if you just moved that dozer, okay.
Exile wants the uh <laughs> Exile wants the um the artillery platforms aligned. I actually think it looks kind of cool like that, you know, all wonky. I think it looks very nice. <laughs> Not everything has to be perfect. <laughs> that was a quite a cool uh, little cinematic there, the nuke in the middle of the city. I think even with 10 nukes, though, I don't think that building would be cleared. But Fargo's starting to bunker off the middle now, building a fire base here. Um, Mini going to drop around the back again from size. It's been quite annoying for Fargo because it always draws his attention. <clears throat> he could just have like four Pathfinders just sitting around the bases. Yeah, I think the 4v4 map with two hard army AIs, I think we could make that work on the 24-7x map, super AI map. The players probably wouldn't be doing much though, probably just be all the AI. <laughs> just completely, the AI might actually kick them. We'd have to put the players in the middle and the two AI, AI supporting them. Well, Sizer's hackers are getting found, but maybe they're coming in clutch now because the money's all drying up on the map. He's losing a lot of hackers there, though, and it's still a Vet 3v alive. Uh, not so sure about that particle. Did he just particle his own V? What was the deal with that particle? Might be one of the worst particles we've ever seen, a Fargo particle. There was, a, there was a free for all tournament once, or a free for all challenge, and there was a Fargo particle in that. There was like a completely free spot where some player had been killed. I think Fargo had even killed him. And then Fargo particled in the middle of the base where it was completely clear. There was no enemy in sight. That's called a Fargo particle. Marco in the chat says, This is Hard Army Mirror right now. <laughs> EMP doesn't really do much. There's two nukes and one particle ready to fire. Considering how much players were floating earlier. Oh, no, not the... Oh, wait. Okay. I thought he was going to kill some artillery platforms. I didn't want that. Wow, he's gone low... Has he gone low power? This is actually a really cool game. <laughs> for a map that I made in 2004 when I was 14 years old. I'm actually quite proud of how this is turning out. Yeah, I think that nuke is going to die. Hmm, surprised the uh, Colonel Burton didn't take any damage. Those artillery platforms are a force to be reckoned with. Look, the... Because they fire so quick and they've got so much HP. You don't mess with those artillery platforms. Look, it's going to clear It's gonna clear that V now. Now The, the MiG cleared it. But yeah, you, you don't mess with those. Ooh, as long as the artillery platforms survive, I'm fine with that. Yeah, survives. Okay, drop zones. I mean, Fargo's just not interested in that supply. 30k. He's only got like two drop zones, where his size has got quite a few. I'm not sure where that is. Is it here? Oh, here. He's killing all the powers. It's actually turning quite a uh, fun game. Well, Colonel Burton is really wrecking stuff, and there's a load of hackers here. That's a gold mine for uh, Colonel Burton. They're moving, but Colonel Burton's going to be chasing them. I'm pretty sure he'll have another scan ready. 
all of them hackers might want to play mind games and go the other way because Fargo knows they're going that way now. Surely there's going to be a scan there. Colonel Burton's chilling right on the hackers. Fuel air bomb will kill an airfield. Nothing landed, but there are slots taken there. Artillery kills a drop zone. There's only one more drop zone left. So Fargo's broke apart from what he's collecting in the middle. And he's just completely forgotten about this supply. Size is doing very well, but <laughs> this Colonel Burton really is finding a lot of hackers. You must have that same gaming headset that Chumstep has. That Colonel Burton's really getting his value. I actually can't believe this has gone 30 minutes. I thought well, this would be over pretty quick. And it's actually turning out pretty close as well. Another nuke. I think he's going to focus on the powers again. Fargo is kind of broke. He's killing uh, powers mainly. Killed the supply there as well. Yeah, both players are not going to be left with very much. Is it size as hackers that are going to win the match? Maybe he did make the right amount after all. If Fargo thinks collecting collecting uh, from the middle is his only choice of cash, but... Hi, remember Indigo Mero? XD. Yo, um, uh, I do remember Indigo Mero, actually. I don't fully remember, but I definitely have seen that name before. Don't know if he used to be on Twitch or YouTube chats. Uh, but I do. I do remember that name, actually. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate that. Wow, Fargo's getting picked apart at a minute. I think the nuke's there. Yeah. Some quite nice hits. Fargo is literally getting picked apart by the infantry now. This is a real well played game from a size. Really, really nice. Assault troop crawler seems to have cleared up the burn. The Spectre gunship clears up the airfield. Size with the constant minigun drop is uh, it's proven very good. And all these trucks in the middle. Oh, the mix. That's painful. Yeah, you know what? When I first saw this rule set, I actually thought it was overly complicated and I thought it was getting a bit weird. You know, some games are 50k, some games are 10k. Players choosing their armies. I mean, I've made it more wonky by picking all these random maps as well. I thought it'd be kind of weird um, and not that great for people to watch. But actually, I kind of eat my words a little bit. It's actually been kind of fun. And kind of different, not just the same 1v1 on Snowy Drought or Tournament Desert, Sand Scorpion, whatever. It's actually very different. And the fact that this game is actually going uh, pretty close is uh, is very decent. And Size is just playing with his food at the minute. Size has got 10k in the bank. He needs to finish on 20k to get this $20 bonus. Yeah, the, uh, the Fargo Particle has run out of power, so it gets cancelled mid-shot. Yeah, Fargo hasn't uh, got an answer now. I think he, I think he's gonna die here. 
32 minute match. Size, if he wins this, will get uh, two points, by the way. So he'll get. Um, he'll get, extend his lead to 5 3. Because it's a 2v2 map. I did think I made an edit of this map. Maybe a few years later. Where I added like a path going over here. Like you could go up a ramp and then go on the top and then go down. I thought that was the case, but maybe maybe not. Yo, Mer equals Indigo Mero. Yeah, thank you, man. I do I do recognize the name, I just can't remember where um... <clears throat> I can't I can't remember if it was years ago in twenty fifteen on Twitch. Or on YouTube. I think it was on YouTube. But cheers for the donation. Appreciate that. Fargo quits. No GG. That's actually a really good game. Considering, like I said, I made this map when I was 14 years old. And uh, it actually turned out to be a quite a good game. Players didn't even say anything to each other. So if size, because he went on a 2v2 map there. So at four spots. Uh, he wins two points there. So it's not games. The score at the top is his points. Yeah. If you win on a 2v2 map, you win two points. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to try, you know, to make players... Actually, I don't even know if I can because I think my list has got too big now. Might put them on uneven heights, actually. <laughs> my map list is getting too big again. Okay, size wants to see. Um, I'm just trying to <clears throat> clear my map folder a bit so I can play the larger maps. Because as you can see, as I get towards this part of the map list, sometimes it cuts off. It's probably because I got those pro skills maps in there, actually. 
Is that going to cut off or is that okay? So that's the map. <laughs> that's going to have the two hard AIs. Um, okay. So Fargo's chosen GLA size has gone super weapon. On this map, that's going to be... So Fargo, Fargo chose the map. <laughs> but no, Fargo saw the map and then picked GLA. And then realized that she's in a bad matchup and then complains about me picking a bad map. <laughs> you couldn't make it up. Super weapon is a wise choice here for big size. Because, especially on 50k. Because uh, you drop a load of EMPs and there's nothing GLA is going to be able to do about it. So I actually think that's kind of cool for size. Down in the bottom right. We have the blue player, Jilly Vanilla, for the player that is Fargo. All the way up in the top left with the orange, Danish Viking. Super weapon, this is big size. So yeah, I think this is uh, I think this is going to go Sizer's way. Honestly, he's going to um, spam a load of E's in the beginning, but then he's going to drop EMPs and start going Auroras. I think Fargo could put the pressure on by rushing out a couple of super weapons. Actually, by rushing out a palace and going a couple of super weapons. Fargo's making technicals without the veterancy here. Find a bit strange. Jamil in the chat says, why has this map got two blue clock, uh, bl two blue cocks on the side? I was going to say, I don't know what you're looking at, mate. I think you're looking at someone else on your other Don't screen. Told you try some new ideas is a good thing. <laughs> now you need to host the other format we spoke about earlier on the phone. It'll be good, trust me. Yo, yo, Yan, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree, to be honest. <laughs> it seems to be working out pretty nice and people seem to like it, so... If that's the case, then uh, we'll do more of this in the future. Fargo not happy with this map pick, though. From me. But yeah, you're right. It does look like two blue cocks, to be fair. These tentacles have got in, but without the veterans, they're not going to be doing much. I have a feeling we might see a bit of a Fargo rage quit in a second. Does anyone know the super AI map? What's the strongest, most spammy, crazy army? I think USA Vanilla, actually. Because it spams paladins. Like, giant armies of paladins. And it's actually quite hard to deal with. So I think we put them with, like, a USA. So we see paladins. And we put them with a... Uh... Maybe like a Tox. Yeah, there is one super AI that actually does try and TNT your buildings. First TNT. TNTs your buildings, TNTs your army, I think. I think we might see a bit of a Fargo rage crit here because I think these Vs are going to clear up. No, nope. actually, Fargo is holding.
Yeah, minimal EMPs actually from size, just dotted around. But mainly it's the uh, it's the empty V spam with tow missile that is doing the wrecking. <laughs> Maricor says it's a cock blocker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Zezon, uh, Fargo's been defeated. Zezon would call it a cock blocker, you're right. Yeah, GG, well played there from size. He extends his lead there to 6 3. I think now uh, we put the. Uh, we put this uh, AI. <laughs> k or 20k or t uh, 10k 20k or 50k um, um each player now gets two hard ai's <laughs> okay this will be you chose your army after seeing the map don't blame the pick blame your own pick Use Brian. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him how powerful the AI is on this. <laughs> I'm not going to tell. <laughs> I'm going to put the players in between the AI so the AI doesn't kill him. I'm not going to tell them how powerful the AI is on this. Because it's absolutely insane. Fargo says it's a 1v1 map. Why do I make this map? <laughs> how many points... For the 4v4 with two hard armies. Oh, it was the last game. All right, so Fargo's insisting it's a 1v1 map. Uh, so we'll put a really ridiculous map. What's that map called? Um, oh, what's it called? The ridiculous map. Oh, what's it called? It's like a uh, mega close. <laughs> it's super, super close. Not mountain oil, not mountain mayhem. Oh, man, what's it called? Um, it's like a I'm not danger close. <clears throat> what is that map? You know the one I mean. It's like mega close. 
Nobody ever picks it. I can't. I can't find it. I can't. What's that map called? Oh, Desert Quadrant. <laughs> <laughs> the host, the sponsor Yan is on the other screen says this is the decider. <laughs> Leaving in a bit, but if you want to continue, you're welcome. <laughs> so I know what map she's going to play. Okay, is it 50k or 10k? <laughs> 10k, okay. Thank you. That's it. That's quadrant. <laughs> Fargo says he's good. He doesn't want to continue. <laughs> All right, this is just a test so they can see the, <laughs> see the map, by the way. This is the most horrible map in Zero, but I picked it on purpose because Fargo complained about the maps. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually ranked. I, I don't know. It's in my list. It's, it's in my list as ranked. <laughs> <laughs> so Jan has to go he's posted this picture of this super hot girl on uh... <laughs> he's posted I'm going to show you he said he has to go because he's, got... he's going to go and meet her basically He's got. He's on low power. He's got to go and meet her quick. Make sure. <laughs> and uh, he says. He says this. Is, but as I says, is this the prize? And yeah, uh, yeah. And the sponsor said, yeah, it can be the prize if you want it to be. And then he said, Dommy, you've got ten percent of the prize. So I've got ten percent. <clears throat> uh. 
Um, it could be interesting this. Fargo's got infantry. Size has air. <laughs> I'll remember it. I just wrote it down. Can't, you can't see the map. Choose an army that doesn't really suit the map. Realize you got outplayed by size because he chose super weapon on a campy map. And then blame me because I chose the map. Because you chose a bad army <laughs> when you saw the map first. Doesn't make any sense. And actually, Fargo does owe me 50% of the prize money now. If he does win overall. because uh, And if he wins this game. Because he'll win $10 if he wins this game. So he'll owe me $5 if he wins this game because this map uh, suits infantry. Yeah, the sponsor said I get, I get as the streamer, I get 10% of the prize. So if that, if that girl is the prize, I get the first 10% and these two can have the last 90% after. <laughs> <laughs> I put the scoreboard back. I was still on desktop mode. Well, uh, Fargo's keeping his CC. Um, would it have not been good just to sell your CC, go YOLO, Assault Troop Crawler, Massive Tank and to push across the map? Might have actually worked out good because Size is going for this fast strat. Um, so you go fast strat, one King Raptor, you doze hunt the opponent and you make a Colonel Burton. And you, you haven't gone to drone so you're going to carpet bomb as well. Nice uh, split fire there from Size. So maybe keeping a CC was the right thing actually because you're about to get hunted. But the question is... Would that massive man blob have uh, been able to overrun size, regardless if you hunted or not? Your size has gone fast flashbangs, but if that assault troop crawler just found its way to here, those flashbangs would have got, got wrecked. I think those minigunners can overpower that. With the great micro, moving them around, trying to encircle these. Carpet bomb coming in from size. It's going to kill the uh, war factory. Fargo's not going to be happy about that. Got his barracks too. Minigunners taking damage. They are all being kept together. So the flashbang's doing big damage, but the Chinook's now under pressure. If those two Chinooks get killed, then uh, size is going to be out of economy. Unless he claims the oils, because he won't have enough cash to replace that Chinook. Thomas says which 10% uh, of her. <laughs> well, I, I want to keep this stream monetized, so I probably won't say. 
<laughs> all, all I need is 10%. Uh, Fargo, is he doing it? I don't know. Where's the Colonel Burton? That's normally the thing that comes out. And then just you just knife all the infantry. Usually you've hunted the opponent, but Fargo's kept his CC there. Fargo's got one oil, about to get two. Sorry, he's about to get three because he's already got that top one as well. Abuses his size and he quits. So Fargo does owe me half you have been for that because that, that favorable map. I actually do want to see the Super AI play you know so I might actually choose maps that will benefit Fargo what does he like he likes an imminent victory <laughs> oh should I do that though mm, do I choose something he doesn't like mm. what is your best map? <laughs> um, liquid gold. <laughs> if you agree. I'll put it. <laughs> uh, I am actually going to pick. I am actually going to pick it because I do kind of want to see the uh, super AI play, to be honest. <laughs> I actually kind of want to see 50k. Okay, size. Oh my god. Size has picked Nuke. <clears throat> and he's against Air Force. 50k. If you win with Nuke... If you win with Nuke, uh, if you win with Nuke, you get an extra bonus ten dollars. Yeah, in my opinion, maybe the bonuses need to be upped. Because <clears throat> to win with Nuke against Air is like really tough. 
Uh, but it is 50k, and Fargo says he doesn't play much 50k, so we'll see. Down in the south position, China Nuke for the orange player. This is big size. Up in the north position with the USA Air Force with the blue, this is Fargo. Yeah, what do you think of the uh, funky format then? Let us know in the chat. And there was there was a poll in the chat as well, a survey link. So you can give feedback on if you like this format or not. Do you like it always 10k random reverse or 10k with matchups and popular maps? Or do you like to see weird and wonderful funky stuff like 50k here, brand new map here? Um, bonuses if you win with like China Vanilla, for example. Uh, yeah, let us know <laughs> what you think. Yeah, so far, it's proved out to be pretty uh, pretty good. We've got four War Factory Strat here from uh, Big Size. It's going to be queuing up a mixture of Flamers, Battlemasters, Gats, I would imagine. Firebase is being deployed by Fargo. Four war factories against two war factories, strat, multiple fire bases from Fargo. It's actually, if I'm getting 10% of the prize today, it's actually more beneficial if size wins here because he's going to gain. A $10 bonus for the prize pool. By winning with Nuke. So... Oh, but we also need Fargo to win to extend the set to get more chance of winning more money later on. So there's... Uh, it's like snakes and ladders, basically. <laughs> uh, ideally, then, overall, I think we need Fargo to win here. So the set continues. There's more money added. More opportunities. That's, that's my line of thinking. It's going to be endless aggression from size. He is taking over the right side. Putting pressure on the left. Search and destroy deployed. Carpet bomb comes in. It only kills two trucks ultimately. Because that supply can be repaired. Those two trucks can be replaced. It is chaotic. Is size going to be able to win here with the nuke? Let's see. Troop crawlers attacking on the right. Troop crawlers attacking on the left. Once those fire bases are cleared, it makes it a lot easier for size to push through. And he's already on nuke overlords. But instantly getting laser locked. No ECM or anything there. It's not the greatest overlord in the world. If Fargo opts in for more barracks and more fire bases than war factories here, only two war factories. A third war factory now being deployed, actually. But there's a lot of overlords here. Laser locks a little bit slow there from Fargo. ECM brought in to deflect the missiles. One overlord picked off. As soon as Fargo's given room to breathe and builds up a number of these, more fire bases. Loads of missile defenders inside of his uh, Vs. That's when it's going to get hard for size. I feel like he is slowly kind of holding. Artillery coming in for size. Carpet. That's a juicy carpet. Artillery. Kill the power, I think. So I still trying the aggression on the right, but no success. Fargo barely holding on the left. Fargo and more fire bases. Lotus has been picked off there, but that um, oil did go size his way.
So I'm still trying to push down the left hand side. He could use all, all of these overlords. It's coming in from the right. Spectre gunship on Sizer. Safe fall down to the bottom right. But size is going for a nuke. Wants to probably get nuke mix. A10 over the top. But it's actually deflected by the ECM. And the oil actually saves. That was one of the biggest deflections you see of the uh, of the A10. I feel like Fargo is slowly holding. And the more support powers they both get, I think the more it favors the Air Force. Because things like Spectre, A10, Rex, and Nucom by itself, Fuel Air Bomb, Leaflet Drop, all of these things are really problematic. Sure, Carpet and Artillery is good as well, but I just think there's more stuff that the Air Force can use. Yeah, Size has found a bit of an opening here. Only one firebase there. I feel like he can crack that open. This one's being built, though, and this missile defender's coming in from the back. Which are going to laze log, but I think that army is actually going to get in, and I think Fargo is in a lot of trouble. We put this map to help out Fargo a little bit, because he was a little bit angry at my other map picks. It turns out... Ooh. Oh, did get two overlords. Quite good. Ooh, Nuke Mig's now out as well. And Fargo taking damage... On his Vs from those nuke migs. I think Size is going to do it, you know. I think he's going to close out the set here. I think we're going to end on a 7 4. Lert T says, Dommy, do I know that ECM stands for electronic countermeasure? Uh, didn't know that actually, no. No, it's just called ECM tank. <laughs> No, that's pretty cool. Whoa, nice carpet. Really nice carpet. Yeah, size is on another level at the minute in these 50k games. He is doing really well. Yeah, Fargo liked this format at the beginning. But I don't think he likes it now because the 50k, he was complaining about it. He was complaining about you the maps. He's complaining about everything, actually. When the thing's not going his way, he complains about it. When he's winning, he, of course, loves it. <laughs> so, GG. Well played. That concludes the set. Cheers to Jan for sponsoring this. Uh, Jan did say they can continue if they want, but I, I don't agree with changing the rules midway through. Um, best of 13 was it. I think we ended there and we'll try and do another one maybe tomorrow or something like that. So, uh, yeah, GG. Well played. To, uh, to the players. All right, Fargo, Fargo wants to see the... <laughs> I said, don't you want the girl? I'm going to win. <laughs> Just 10%. <laughs> Winner takes twenty percent of loser of that huge map. What? Winner takes what? So what are we going to put? Uh, number four, USA. And number six, <laughs> USA. Uh, team one and team two. <laughs> and number five can be like... <laughs> no, wait. Can be like... Uh, and nuke. 
No, wait. Yeah, nuke. I don't know. Uh, yeah, nuke. And then number seven is going to be nuke as well. <clears throat> All right, this is gonna be, this is gonna be the very last one. I'm gonna go to bed after this. Okay, so <laughs> it's like so, so many rules. Twenty k, twenty k. You each. You each get out. Hold on, me. But they don't know it's the super AI. Oh, man. Wait, it's Fargo. You can't go there. Fargo. Go right. Not there. It's left versus right. You're in between the hard army. As the Fargo's going left. <clears throat> <laughs> it's just going to be weird I think it's going to actually lag the game to be honest alright so they both need to choose an army alright size has chosen his army the weaker the army the more money they're going to win from the sponsor Alright, so they're both gonna be air. Yeah. <laughs> they're both gonna be air. Yeah. Okay, size team two. No wait, size size needs <coughs> needs to be <coughs> size team one Fargo team two. Right, so Fargo's team two, he's going to be supported by uh, a new USA there, Nuke there, Size is air, supported by, yeah, okay, that's all right. It's 20k starting cash, but these AIs are super AIs, but the players don't know that. <clears throat> okay, so... Over on the left-hand side, we have the mighty Fargo with the blue USA Air Force. <laughs> I can't get over how ridiculous this is. Over on the right-hand side, we have big size with the USA Air Force with the orange supporting team number one. He's supported by a Super AI USA and a Super AI China Nuke. <coughs> And Fargo is supported by the same. So it's actually a perfect mirror. <laughs> how, is the, how is the AI going to perform? From past experiences, the super AI likes to make a massive army of paladins. And usually if you're like GLA stealth or something, or even tox or whatever, the paladins really do wreck. <clears throat> of course, a hard army... Uh, We'll make 27,000 doses. Cyan China nuke gear for the hard army. It's making war factories and airfields, which is exactly the same. That's gonna, it's going to be a mirror on the top and the, the bottom spot. But what are the players, <laughs> players going to do? Imagine if... <clears throat> what if the players wipe each other out? 
AI is wipe each other out. It could just very well be left with the AIs. <laughs> it's effectively a 3v3, isn't it? But g given like five, ten minutes, the super AI is going to be like mental strong. <laughs> it's not too far off a 50k build, the, what the AI actually does. Maybe minus the Patriots, the vanilla Patriots. <clears throat> so yeah, the sponsor of this set specifically wanted to see this on a 4v4 map. He wanted to see the players battle it out in 1v1, but supported by... Supported by two hot AIs. But the players don't know that it's a super AI. Okay, search and destroy deployed by the USA Hard Army in the top position. It's already making uh, drop zones. Fargo going, sorry, size going heavy Comanches. Whereas Fargo looks like he's opting for King Raptors. <laughs> The beacon is placed on the search and destroy for the hard army USA in the top. Size doesn't care about the beacon. Yeah, will Fargo blame the AI? Mix coming through for the AIs. It's a bit like uh, League of Legends, really, or Dota, isn't it? You can help your guys in your lane. You're like the hero. You can help your guys in your lane try and overpower them. <clears throat> but yeah, normally the AI will make paladins. No paladins just yet. There we've got Tomahawks and Crusaders being made. But yeah, given enough time, the players will probably have minimal impact on the game compared to how much the AIs will have. You see the AI laser locking? How often do you see that from an AI? And then making the decision to go back as well. Like, where is he going? Is he going to go inside of that bunker? <clears throat> yeah, the Comanches is not doing so well against the King Raptors so far of Fargo. Fargo picking off a lot of Comanches there. Yeah, this is very fast in the chat. Why is it super AI? It's an edited map, this. The AI is programmed very well on this. To play a little bit closer to a human. Like, it will laser lock. I think it TNTs your buildings. <clears throat> Does cheat. I think it is. I think he gets random cash boost, but I, I don't know actually. I've not seen it go crazy high here, but I might be wrong. Size so bringing uh, through Avengers, but there's more V's coming now from Fargo. Fargo is opting for a big V spam. But yeah, Size is doing better actually. He's bringing forward these. Uh Avengers and then using the Comanches over them to wreck things, but is Size able to take that engagement? The Avengers are getting picked off. Maybe Size can take that engagement. He's focused a little bit on this bunker though. The AI is making <laughs> Comanches there at the top. Size is going to enter the base here of Fargo. wonder if the AI will come and help Fargo and help him carry the... Uh, carry the game for Fargo. Currently size controlling the game, but these Comanches eventually will be picked off by the Raptors. Spectre Gunship takes out one of the airfields. Ooh, that's a juicy carpet. That's a very nice carpet. Even gets the V. Two King Raptors on the airfield. Yeah, the AI is not that impressive so far. Building up a massive army. A bit of a uh, mirror battle in the south. 
Sai's looking a bit like an AI himself here, to be honest. Here come the Paladins from the yellow Super AI. Purple also going for the uh, Paladins. But the Paladins from yellow are quicker to be across the map. Also, yellow's expanded there. Fargo's actually quit. Fargo's selling his... Oh, Fargo's quit, and then the AI sold his buildings. <laughs> and now we're going to watch Size finish off the super AIs. Yeah, Fargo's, Fargo's lost uh, a lot of games tonight, actually. That's going to be... I don't know how many games this counts as. Does this count as six wins? The sponsor specifically wanted to see this. Like a 3v3, but the, the players will face in a 1v1, but they're supported by the AI. <clears throat> yeah, the blue AI was lacking a bit, Xcal said. Yeah, I agree. AI didn't value Fargo's base, just sold it straight away. But now we're going to watch size versus the super AIs. Of course, now though. Size can't lose against the two super AIs. He's supported against. He's supported by the same. And also his AI it looks like it's winning against the pink AI. But also Size can just pick off the stuff from the back here. So then Siam will just overrun, and then they can just all focus on uh, all focus on purple. Purple coming in with the paladins and the microwaves. Size so picking off all of the base of pink. Pro Cyan. Says <laughs> Size. Yeah, I mean, maybe it was, it was a good call there from Size. I did doubt it. Yellow say if you need help. I did doubt whether going Comanches against Raptors from uh, Fargo was a good idea, but Size seemed to have it have it sorted. I think someone said in the chat before that um, Size beat Fargo quite convincingly earlier, and then Fargo deleted his stream or whatever. So maybe Size has just been on top of Fargo today. Not in any weird way. <laughs> He's been playing a level above, I think. Uh, if Size picks off that now, the AI will just sell up. <clears throat> Size trying to pick off the buildings. <laughs> Yellow coming in. Yellow, wait me, says Big Size. And Pink gets kicked. Now Cyan should put on the pressure to purple. 3v1 on purple now. It is new. It is different, I suppose. I did doubt whether this format would be good. I think once every 10 years, this is not, not bad. But I think seeing this over and over again might not be good. So I was just telling science to expand. <coughs> yeah, I don't know how often I want to see this. But I think just every now and again, okay. Something different. We haven't seen <laughs> 3v3 with AIs before. Yeah, I, I thought this game would go a lot longer, honestly. The size seemed to steamroll pretty quick. Yellow with a nice uh, bombers there, stealth bombers. Science here with a helix, Marikar helix. And purple now. He put up a good fight, actually, purple. But he's now getting uh, a bit wrecked, to say the least. The AI, if you put him in that spot, by the way, he builds an airfield on the ocean. from yellow. 
The yellow super AI USA vanilla. Not even sure where that's really shooting. I think it was moving it the whole time, so it wasn't using, like, the main cannon. It's kind of strange stuff. Don't know if Size has gone AFK now, or where's his stuff? Size is flipping 55k. Um... Oh no, there's his Comanches. Yeah, Yellow needs to make a move now, because Size is doing all the heavy lifting, but the, uh, the team... Is not pulling their weight, but I think it's only a matter of time before Purple gets killed. If you hunt the uh, hunt the dozers, kill the CC, and kill all the production, the AI will just automatically sell up, regardless if he's got 27 units out or not. Spectre from size. He's trying to kill the CC. I think killing the CC is a good move. So then I don't think the AI will rebuild it. Artillery from Cyan as well. Nice artillery. A10. Picks off the strap. All of them uh, Comanches are going to get cleared. But Yellow's moving in with the Tomahawks. Yeah, let us know in the chat. Did you did you like um, today's format? Or do you prefer the usual no rules matchups and normal maps that we see? Or do you think this mixes it up? Or do you want to see this again? Because I think Yan wants to see even more crazy, crazy stuff in the coming streams. My birthday on the weekend, by the way. Sunday, 3rd of March. If you want to send me any gifts, got a P.O. box. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, w I won't be here, actually, otherwise I would have done... Oh, no, will I be here? Sunday night? Actually, I could do a stream Sunday night. I'm not here Friday night, Saturday, but I am here Sunday, which is my birthday. Maybe we can do a 24-hour uh, live stream. <laughs> nah, I'll be working Monday. Maybe we will do something. Maybe someone will give me a boss dozer at the casino, like last year. Uh... Size just needs to hunt the dozers now. Purple is hanging in there. Yellow really needs to do more. Considering it's now a 3v1 on purple, yellow should be steamrolling. But yeah, the paladins. Ooh, you see the laser lock? Size floating 42k. Yeah, the, the laser locks from the AI... I wonder what its APM is. If you fly over loads of Comanches and he's got loads of missile defenders and it laser locks whatever's closest, it probably has like a mental APM. Yeah, Size is slowly but surely picking off the air. I think he doesn't realize it. You can just ignore all of these things. And just pick off the Q buildings. Nice MOAB there, by the way. <clears throat> uh, science trying to capture an artillery platform. Floating 4K. Meanwhile, made a load of hackers, even though it's 3v1. And that AI needs tweaking a little bit. Yeah, I think the AI is hunted now. So if you just kill that barracks, I think that's it. It's just that barracks now. That's literally it. Harry96 says, I love how the AI sold Fargo space instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Lit T says, happy birthday. Yeah, it's not yet on Sunday. It's my birthday, though, but thank you. Just that building he's picking off and the AI will sell up. Just look at the laser locks though from the AI. <laughs> Is Fargo defeated? He's AWOL. He's probably, he's probably watching this stream. Yeah, Fargo loved the map picks tonight.
shout out to Fargo for playing the epic maps. What a really epic part of Canon there from Yellow. But I think the AI purple is now dead. That's his last remaining build, and I think. Lol to size. Was it killing his own Comanches? Yeah, I think it was. GG. And well played. Yeah, the two hard AIs survived longer than Fargo. And when Fargo quit, sold his base. So yeah, GG, well played. I'm not sure how many points size gets for that because he won a 3v3. But we'll put it to like 8-4. But overall, it was different. Uh, shout out to Yan for sponsoring this. And uh, yeah, GG's. Yeah, I'm definitely going to end it there. I think Fargo's off. <laughs> I think he's closed... I think he's closed his computer. Yeah, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to head to bed. GG, well played. Uh, thanks to everyone that joined. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you very, very soon.